So even with the current digital revolution and the entrepreneurship awakening that we're currently going through, I chose a safe, boring, normal career in the service industry. I chose engineering and construction early on in my lifetime. By 18, I knew that I wanted to be an engineer on some of the largest projects around the world. And this career gave me just that. Apart from life stability, experiences, money, and the fact that I got to travel to places that I never thought that I would. So here's why I chose being an engineer and project manager instead of something cool like, I don't know, a tech engineer or a travel vlogger, and why I think you might want to consider a career in the service industry too. First reason, I wanted to build something that was bigger than myself. I wanted to make something that was tangible and that I could touch with my hands and I could directly see how it impacted the communities around me and countries as a whole around the world. And I have been so fortunate that I have never had that common thought process when you're working in a corporate job of, why am I doing this? What's the point? I've always known exactly why. Next reason, reliability and consistency. These types of jobs are always in demand. Cities will always need engineers maintaining and upgrading their infrastructure. But apart from that, the human nature of innovating is always there. So we get these incredible projects like the Neom City, the Panama Canal, high-speed trains all around the world. Especially now that there's this big allure to work in the tech industry or build apps, there is high demand for good engineers in the service industry. The steadiness and the reliability also transfers over to the financial stability. Yes, tech engineers, software engineers probably make a little bit more than we do as design and civil engineers. However, we do keep up and with a lot less volatility when it comes to layoffs. So I would say these types of careers are uh, maybe not recession proof, but definitely recession resilient. Next reason, it is an incredibly challenging career. My job is hard and I am truly never bored. When I got tired of designing highways and bridges, I moved into learning about the financial reporting of a iconic bridge. When I didn't wanna do that anymore, I started learning about ports and coastal engineering. When I got tired of things that didn't move, I transferred over into the rail and transit industry. And when I was done with engineering, I moved on to project management and program management and business development. This continued to keep my career interesting throughout the past decade. Next reason. There is a lot, a lot of opportunity to bring in that digital revolution into these service industries and improve their efficiencies and improve their processes. Specifically in my industry, we are focusing on something called the digital twin, which is essentially the BIM model of the design and the project that we're building. There's so much opportunity to bring in AI to help with the design and operations of a large infrastructure project. So it's not like we're completely disconnected from the digital revolution. We actually have the opportunity to bring that into a specific industry. My final reason, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot more, but finally, passion. I would never advise anyone to choose a career that they're not at least remotely interested in. I had grown up in the construction field, so I was always enthralled and excited by the built world around me. And I wanted to be part of the team who built things that were you know, environmentally sustainable and we're helping communities and really just making a more beautiful world, a more efficient world for ourselves. Apart from that, I also chase the money. But at the core of it all, I chose it because of a genuine passion and interest in that specific career. So in my opinion, don't discard service industry jobs. They can be extremely rewarding. They're really financially stable and they're also always going to be around. So that's it. That's all I had to say about my safe and boring job. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.